In today's video, you will see the best misfortune build for patch 10.25. Hello my fellow misfortunates and welcome to another solo queue game on my Platinum Smurf. We are um, against Vayne Lulu and oh well, about the best build, uh, the rune page is always the same, so the one you just saw on the screen. And uh, skill order is 3 points in queue for the lane phase and then W max by level 10. But the item build is where it gets, uh, where it gets really interesting because that's actually quite situational. First item is always Bloodthirster because... Shields are OP on Misfortune. Nice, good damage in vain. Uh, because in case you don't know, as long as Misfortune is shielded, it's, Im it's impossible to interrupt her W movement speed passive. So yeah, she just uses Bloodthirster and Overheal better than any other champion, which is why we're going for those. And then afterwards, there's a simple flow chart you can follow. If the enemy team has one tank or more, then you always go Kraken Slayer. If they have zero tanks, um, you can go Dust Blade. Unless you are you're, unless your team is full AD, then you need to go Kraken Slayer too. Yeah, bump that echo into me. Make me use even more summoners. Uh in one for one. Okay, that vein got greedy. Like, really greedy. Okay. So the wave is screwed. I can't really do much. Or can I? Echo's returning. I know it. It's not under tower, but it's under tower-ish. Actually, it's a good wave. The tower's eating a lot of them. Okay, Echo's here. L stars here too, though. Please be careful. It's two v three still. So yeah. Um. And after Kraken Slayer, your item build is very flexible. After Dust Blade, it's more streamlined for maximum damage. So you get your. Um, Stealth resets and team fights as quickly as possible, which is your safety net, right? The stealth. Um, but actually, so in this game they have a Shen, so this would be a Kraken Slayer game. But I actually want to limit test Duskblade a little bit. Uh, it can, in theory, it should work against a team that has a tank. If you go for the Mortar, my, uh, not Mortar, what is it called? Um, Lord Dominic's Regards, right? So I want to limit test a little bit. So if you are super tryhard, you go for the Kraken Slayer version. Um, but yeah, I haven't played with Duskblade too, too much. Or into too many matchups, rather. So I want to, I want to test this against the one tank team. Thanks, Alistar. Didn't want to live anyway. He just goes in into the enemy minion wave and lets Vayne one v one me. Wow. All right. <laughs> Faith in my support lost. Uh, in any case, we get boots plus vamp scepter here, which allows us to farm indefinitely and stay super safe because we already unlock the overheal synergy. And life steal misfortune is so amazing because she applies it on Q. And on laugh tap, so we get a lot of value out of that single vamp scepter. Right now, Vayne has two kills though. We need to be careful. So, and after uh, your well, if they have a really squishy team, or uh, so the the standard team you pick this into, you go for. Um, collector after Dusk Blade. Well, you can go for Edge of Night and stuff, right? If you really need more safety. But, um... Collector allows you to then go for Infinity Edge afterwards, which should be right, uh, quite nice. And then you go for... Oh, come on. Noon Quiver. Okay, so she's quite strong now. So yeah, these, these are the general item options, right? Now you go for IE and low doms. Then sell your boots for Essence Reaver. 
Yeah, I'll start roaming right now. I might just do the same. If I walk up, Vayne just runs me down with Lulu. Okay. I'm so not impressed with that Alistar. Oh well, we just need to play it super safe. Don't take risks like that. I was assuming we could just all in them, but Alistar didn't even commit. Just let me 1v2. Cost me my heal. Mid lane miss. I could have flash autoed. Yeah, I should have, but I, um, I chickened out. Didn't want to randomly die to Vayne and a counter gank under tower. Let's just push this under tower. Why are we not pushing this? Push and base. Easy. Alright, I just hold this. That's fine, we still need to base. We can get um, BF Sword plus Dagger. Should be quite nice. That's definitely a freeze, so they will deny at least one extra wave. But we can't not base there ever, we just need to. Yeah. The wave will delete an extra wave for them, so we can't farm. But still, now we have item advantage, now we can actually um, be somewhat aggressive. Vayne's still level 5 too. Well, she will hit level 6 here, for sure. Next wave coming in. Just making sure that goes under tower. Why would he take 30 gold away from his AD carry? I don't get it. Oh well. Wave is resetting. That's nice. Yeah, they can 2v2 us easily with the Lulu ult, Vayne ult. So we need to chill right now. Alistair also still level 5. So even if he peels for me, they will just go and kill him. Alright. That's what we needed. Push, push, push. Use your stacks to push the next wave, bro. He just cancels all of his autos. Alright, nice. Uh, going for a plating is too greedy here. Sure, then we greed for the plating. Uh, I mean, I guess it's fine. We just delay our back by 10 seconds, maybe. Unless we get cancelled right there, which might be the case. Okay. But yeah, I can't stay there. It's not possible. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, got Bloodthirster now, so now this is where we can actually make plays like crazy. Bloodthirster Misfortune is so strong. Hence, uh, the account name. <laughs> yeah. But, as soon as we get Duskblade, this is where we can start popping off. I got heal. <laughs> Getting condemned there, denying my kills. Unlucky. But they both need to base, so it doesn't really matter that they live. It would be nice to get the gold and stuff, but... The truly important aspect is they need to leave the lane, which means they will miss CS, putting them behind in gold and experience. Let's get a ward there. I'll take the next wave too. That goes under tower, and now we can base, upgrade boots, and get a long sword. Perfect. Bane got Kraken Slayer, so we need to be careful. In an all-in fight, uh, we can burst her down, but if she gets to engage with some auto attacks, we might be in trouble. We definitely need to respect that damage. And also, we need to probably 1v5 that game, because my team's just inting. Actually, as much as I'd like to limit her dust blade. Against the Fed Shen, we might just need to go Kraken Sayer. On the other hand, it's my Platinum Smurf, so might as well go for the Limit Test. Yeah, well, that, that favors us. We have Lifesteal. Unlucky that Elstar is not here, because if he was, we could just all in them and kill them. Yeah, with Bloodthirst, I can easily 1v2 that lane. Bot lane miss. They're probably based because they're so low. Or they aren't. Yeah, okay. With Lulu ulti plus Vayne ulti, that was too much. And Echo is here too. Alright, so yeah, we just completely lost our momentum bot lane because of 1v2 and me playing it incorrectly. But maybe Zed? Okay, Zed is low. Still. Enemies are low too. Oh well, uh, even if they get away here, I mean, I'm, s I'm still decently strong. I just need to keep in mind to not go full ham there. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was softly played. Send fire Aegis. I got my ulti, so maybe we can make a play. Or not. Yeah, my team is so incredibly weak. Shouldn't have tried to 2v3 there. 
it's so greedy of us. I'll still go for the Dust Blade version. That means I can't touch Shen unless I get to um, three items. Whereas with what is it called? Kraken Slayer, I could already start dueling him with two items. But um, but I'm willing to try this out. It just looks like way more fun right now. Then miss. Bane has rage knife. Hmm. Without Lulu, you're nothing, bro. In a 1v1, no chance, my friend. Mm, looks like Alistar's... Oh, actually, wow. Sick play, dude. Go Kha'Zix, <laughs> you can do it. That Moonstone Renewer. Ew, all right. They're getting away with murder here. I guess that Shen can 1v2 us. Oof. Come on, my friends. There's still a chance, though. I'm quite strong. If I don't make any more mistakes, I can carry this. Looks like Alistar is just dead, though. Yep. Better not intervene there. Oof. Okay. Now we got our outplay item again. Uh, against this team, especially against the Fed Z, Kraken Slayer version would be optimal. But I just, I, I just want to limit test this. Hello there. I guess she's just dead. <laughs> just running at her with a million movement speed. I would have gotten her despite Condemn, trust me. Stunned forever, huh? Mediocre ulti.
That should be dragon for us. Maybe more. I guess this is greedy. They respawn in 15. Well, Shen is dead for 25, so... Okay, forget it. Maybe I can kill Vayne real quick. Bros, please just let me base real quick. No mana, too much gold. Okay, so even uh, without the Giant Slayer passive, which we will get upon completion, um, the last Whisper component is already so strong against this Shen. I guess I should not overextend. Let's go. Yeah, afterwards we just go IE. Then Collector. Then sell boots for... Yeah, I shouldn't go there. Uh, then sell boots for um, Essence Reaver. Come on, Alistar. Uh-oh. But yeah, the safety you get from Duskblade Stealth, it's crazy. They push top lane, if we can just counter push mid lane, that's fine, I guess. Just take the tower, bro. Mid tower is so much, uh, so valuable. So much pressure. I'll just walk at this point, cut off their escape route. Okay, looks like it's just all in here. Mm, three for three. They got inhibitor though. Oh well, if you just push top lane now, this should be... Um, no, this shouldn't really matter. Okay, but yeah, now I'm super strong. 300 AD. This procs for 164. And resets and team fights. Let's just let the wave push in, so I'm not at risk too much. Dragon and 50. Uh, fighting for the dragon is so awkward when we have no top lane inhibitor. It might still be possible though. Never mind. Why did I even go in there? I was so poorly played. I didn't read the map at all, <laughs> it seems. We might lose an extra inhibitor for this. Depends. 
we at least lose the dragon. I'll tell you that much. Oh, close. So close. But yeah, that was a clutch misplay from my part. This is so bad for us. Oh, actually, yeah, my team redeeming itself. Come on, let me respawn. Okay, so we do lose another inhibitor. From a grave mistake. Still winnable though. I'm there. That's all we needed. She turned to attack the ward. Rookie mistake. Cost her too much time. And now we can take Dragon. I'm close to Infinity Edge too. So yeah, with the uh, Lord Doms, it seems like you can, if you're s somewhat snowballing, you can definitely pull it off. Uh, the the dust plate um, build against the tanks. <coughs> but, the I mean, the Kraken Slayer version is just so much more reliable against super tanky teams. So it's, it's situational and playstyle dependent. Why did he take the red buff? What? How did they know? There's a control board right there. That doesn't make sense. Did we lose the team fight for that? I hope they can't end here. Wow. How? I don't get it. It was control warded. Okay, let's just hope. We can defend for 20 seconds. <sighs> That's one. I'm back in action in five. Yo, that's actually so good. Let's go. Let's go, guys! <laughs> okay. Okay, and we didn't even lose both base towers. Alright, hashtag winnable. Press the like button, by the way. Yeah, Baron. I agree. I wholeheartedly agree. Alright. Oh, I thought Elsa had the stun there, but he didn't. Is that game? We don't have a wave, so I guess not. Should be inhibitor though. Nice, now we reset and push the other lanes.
give me that collector. But you do so much damage against squishies, it's crazy. And the stealth in team fights, I mean it's it's just it's just neat. <laughs> so much fun to play around with. We can also get Dragon Soul in one minute. Critting for 800. Just take down the tower here. Take the free stuff, win the game. Nice. Okay, then you die. No! Nice try, Echo. Yeah, the burst potential is real. In the end, uh, it looks like Vayne even Rage quit. <laughs> but I mean, we were snowballing so hard at this point that I don't think they could have won even had they tried. So yeah, Dust Made Misfortune, definitely a super strong version for um, dealing with squishies. But if you want to know, uh, or if you want to see the Kraken Slayer version of this best build, then click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.